All right, good day everyone. So, uh, today's video, I'm going to show you how to combine uh, the two uh, polyline and uh, use this one for our alignment that we can use in our bridge creator in Tecla Structure. So basically, um, at this point of time, I have the AutoCAD uh, line consists of the plan and then elevation. So I have this curve as my plan and then this is the elevation of the alignment. So basically, we need to combine this one to make as uh, one alignment. So uh, let us save this one and then close it. So uh, using this uh, AutoCAD uh, uh, file, so we're going to import that one inside our Rhino. So go go back to the, or open the Rhino and then uh, import. And then we're going to select the, uh, the file, this alignment drawing, open it. And then uh, just simply use the default, hit OK. So as you can see here, I have the uh, plan and then I have this elevation. So at the moment, uh, both of this line is already on the top view and in the same plane. So what I need to do is to rotate this elevation on the uh, X and uh, Z direction. So I will go to this right uh, view. Okay, so if you notice here, I have two lines here. So this one is for the uh, uh, plan and this one is for the elevation. So let me just uh, uh, maximize this view and then all I need to do here is select and then just simply type rotate. All right, rotate, okay. So rotate from center, so pick this point and then pick this uh, uh, this direction and then as you can see here you can now rotate this one 90 degrees okay so now if you look onto my uh, uh, plan or top view I have now this plan and then the elevation is rotated and then if we look onto the perspective as you can see here I have now this uh, two two different uh, uh, poly beam or poly line. Okay? Now, what I need to do is to combine this one and uh, bring this one into our Tecla structure so that we can use that one as our uh, alignment for our bridge or for our uh, bridge deck. Okay, so now that we have these two lines or two poly line in our uh, Rhino, so I have the plan and then the elevation. So let me just maximize this plan. So what we're going to do is to follow this uh, elevation to the shape of the plan uh, and maintain the, uh, the curvature of the elevation. So all we have to do is to select this uh, flow along, along curve and then select the objects to flow along curve. Select this one and then enter. And then uh, from here, you can see uh, this uh, select near one end, select this line, and then pick these two points, one and then two. Okay, and then select the tar the target curve. So I'm going to select this one and then enter. So as you can see here, if you go to the top, now this one is already copied. This is the new one. If you notice here, if you go to the top. Okay, it follows the curve of the plan, and then if you go to the side view, it follows the curve of the side view. So now, this is the uh, this is the curve that we're going to uh, to call inside Tecla structure because this one will be our alignment now. So if we move on to the perspective, and then uh, what what I need to do now is to open the grass supper. Okay, enter. All right. So from the grasshopper, all we have to do is to, uh, okay, I'll, I'm going to put this one on the <clears throat> half of the screen. So this is uh, the grasshopper. This is the, the rhino. This is the file. And then let me open the Tecla structure here. 
on this side. All right. So here, this is the rhino, the grasshopper, and then this tecla here. All right. So let me just uh, move a little bit. All right. So there you go. So from this tecla model, this is the rhino. And this is the grasshopper. So from the grasshopper, all you have to do is to double click the canvas and then type curve. Enter. So this curve, I'm going to right click and then set one curve and then select this alignment, this one. There you go. So it becomes green, so it means that one is correct. So now, all you have to do is to go to Tecla and then uh, select the, uh, uh, what do you call that, the construction line here okay put the construction line okay so maybe i'm going to select this tecla now so that we can see how it will transfer to tecla so from here i'm going to also type let's say uh 10 enter and then put that one as your color and then connect the curve to the geometry and then look what will happen see it creates already the alignment here there you go so this is the alignment now so if i want to change this one to maybe color this one number seven so you can now have the alignment in tecla structure so let me just open the tecla structure now maximize the tecla structure because i already uh uh insert or uh put the alignment inside the tecla structure so i'm going to use this alignment and then open my bridge creator all right so from the bridge creator i'll just simply select the uh, this uh, bridge deck and read the alignment okay so pick and then select this one all right and then hit okay and then in more again you need to pick and then select and then we can type here uh cl and then convert all right so it converts to the tecla structure object and then once you have this alignment here you can go to the manage and then uh draw the chainage select again the alignment and there you go so i have now the chainage here all right so starting from here okay so if you notice i have the plan and then i have the elevation all right now that we have the uh, alignment here so we can just simply uh, make it sure that uh, this alignment is already uh, mapped to this new alignment or the the proxy mapped to the new alignment and then hit ok so if you notice here we have this uh, deck I put the deck name here the material the name and then the class number let's say 11 and then here the start is from 0 to 40 uh, meter mark and then the interval is 0.2 so component is nothing here and then all you have to do is to simply hit create and say yes and there you go so you have now this so if you want to put this one to 41 42 44 you can just simply change this one to 44 and then create and then it will be modified up to this 44 so now you have now the bridge so if you notice this is the elevation that we have created earlier okay and then on the plan this this is the curvature okay so you have now this uh, uh, bridge deck using the alignment that we have uh, created from AutoCAD to Rhino and then bring inside Tecla structure thank you